Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in to another video on the Stony River channel. Today I'd like to talk about a coffee making device that you can use um, in a backcountry setting, either backpacking or canoe camping or any kind of wilderness experience. Um, this is called the GSI Coffee Rocket and it consists of a funnel with a snorkel. You can see that there. And um, the other component is effectively like a little tripod, kind of like a thing that has flanges that sits over the cup. And inside of this is a metal filter basket style deal where you'd put the grounds, the coffee grounds in. So uh, this is a pretty inexpensive coffee making device for the backcountry. It costs, I think I purchased it for about 12 or $13 from a store, a local store called Northwest Outlet in Superior, Wisconsin, but I have seen it online for under $10. So it's a very cost-effective device, and um, it uh, it's very lightweight as well. I think the entire item is, the entire item weighs something like, I want to say, oh, I want to say it was 2.7 ounces, which would be about 0.17 pounds, which is just under 100 grams. GSI, GSI's pretty reputable brand, Coffee Rocket, that's what it's called. Should be available at most outdoor stores. And we'll be traveling to the past now to when it was actually used in the Boundary Waters Canoe Wilderness area, uh, specifically on Lake One. I think it would just be called maybe a pour over. So first things first, gonna boil some water just scooped it straight from the lake so we got to boil this um, I'm just gonna use a jet boil so let that boil but it's yeah by GSI outdoors pretty popular camping equipment uh, brand picked it up from Northwest Outlet in Superior Wisconsin for about 12 or 13 dollars and basically it's just got this little um, basket strainer dealy that holds the grounds so put the grounds in this little strainer cup thing it's just important that when you connect it to the funnel everything is nice and snug uh, if it comes if anything kind of comes apart these three different pieces um, you might end up with the grounds and the coffee. And then um, on top of that is this little funnel that has a little snorkel. And I think the snorkel um, allows, uh, it just helps to drain the, the hot water through the little filter thing. Um, um, so it just kind of fits on like so. The funnel goes on the, the filtery thing, and then the little flanges hold it on top of a cup. So we're going to make some coffee. Hopefully I don't make a mess here. Got the jet boil water boiled, and here we go. First time using it. I don't know how fast it's going to drip down in there. Oop, coffee's being made. Seems to be draining kind of slowly, but kind of what you would expect. So we kind of learned from the first one, key components of using this, which seems to be a pretty functional device, lightweight, relatively, in really inexpensive actually. Um, just making sure everything's snug together, the three different components, the little strainer, the little tripod, and the funnel at the top. Um, we're, this is the only cup that we really have, and this is like over half a liter, and we filled it up about halfway, and it seemed to be a little bit weak, so, I mean, I'm not a coffee drinker, is it, was it a little weak? Um, and, uh, so maybe we'll do like a quarter of it, or like, kind of like more of like a standard coffee cup, um, volume, so, 
Maybe, yeah, it'd be like eight ounces or something. Here we go. Well, it does fit, drip down through pretty quick. Maybe we'll just start with one funnel load and see where that puts us in, uh, in the cup. I know you can't smell through the camera, but mm, that aroma. It's good. So this is the second cup. Now we added one little mini creamer thing from a gas station. Um, this time we did one funnel load of water, which seems to be about or maybe just less than a regular cup of coffee. So overall, I think this is a pretty valuable product. Um, Lightweight, inexpensive, uh, seems to be decent quality. And um, one more thing I will say is I'm not a coffee drinker, so I didn't currently. I was in the past, but I'm no longer a coffee drinker. And I will say that the person who did drink coffee that was made from this, the one complaint they said is that using, I use effectively boiling water, like recently boiled water, so really, really hot water, it made the coffee taste a little burnt. So when you're in the backcountry of Sometimes you need to boil water to, to make it suitable for drinking and safe for drinking. Not to kill any pathogens and such, but um, I think other than it's a pretty sweet little device, but I will say maybe the one knock on it is that you might want to let the water cool off slightly um, before uh, pouring it. It's a pour over device, so maybe boil some water if you need to sanitize it um, and let it cool a little bit, or if it's already safe to drink just maybe don't boil it just get it hot uh that's the only knock on this is that maybe it's not the best for like boiling hot water but that's the gsi coffee rocket thank you all for tuning in i'll see you on the next one